Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. We are continuing our conversation with Pat Crowley and Margaret Romney, the founders of True Voice and speakers at TEDx. Welcome back. After that fun little break in between, we are going to share with you guys a little bit about some, some tips and what you can expect from your experience. So, uh, Pat, you mentioned yeah. uh, storytelling. And first off, is this kind of a newfound passion of yours? Have you always been this way in terms of your desire to share and to, to portray? things for people How, when did that develop yeah well all my life I guess but I think my most uh, cr credible experience is working as a raft guide ah. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty valid Which is basically a storyteller on yeah the water. isn't yeah. that part of the description like be able to put, play like the ukulele and be like that. you have to be able to tell them in kind of boring settings to fill the gap but also you know in when it's hailing out and oh god <laughs> well you've had experience with all, with all these things yeah, i'm yeah. sure cool so so what tips would you give us for when it, that that story Telling, telling method. Yeah, so it's it really is that kind of artistic journey. I mean, the the basic tenets of a story is it has to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it, it sounds trite, but that's actually pretty important. <laughs> a lot of <laughs> I stories that miss simple, out on. But yeah. are we missing this sometimes? It yeah, we so. are. Yeah, and, and you have to kind of craft that in advance and so okay. know when that high point is and know the resolution. Mm -hmm. And so in. And then the artistic part comes in in mixing up your timeline throughout that beginning, middle, and end. And what are the big messages? And um, and then in kind of today's world, you know, we have limited time, and so there's there's really you know the three C's of of a pitch or a story are it needs to be clear, it needs to be concise, and it needs to be compelling. Hmm. And so you know we have a limited amount of time to convey our message. So you really have to have that be concise message and. Uh, Margaret talked on and spoke on you know the jargon that we also often use kind of subconsciously and so it needs to be very clear it needs to be in language that your audience understands and it needs to be very kind of your concepts need to flow from one to the next and then it needs to be compelling like why do you care mm. why do you care about storytelling mm -hmm. well because you do it every day <laughs> on the <this> show. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> yeah. So you have to make Thank it compelling to your audience. Me. Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. <laughs> that is a fact. Yeah. yeah. So, and that's part of uh, what this experience, this event, is all about. Is kind of bringing to life almost things that you're like, oh, I should have known that, but I needed someone to tell me. Exactly. Because sometimes you don't make those connections for yourself because yeah. you, you can't step back and and observe you objectively as you guys are able to with us attending this. Right, and you need to practice it and then get feedback on it, and it's, uh -huh. it's very valuable to it. Excellent. So, yeah. All right, well, let's uh, chat about the difference between a TED Talk and everything else that, <laughs> that we do. <laughs> Margaret. So the public speaking world, like when you go, you know, you see a highlighted speaker or a keynote speaker okay. or something like that, oftentimes their job is to, like, you know, rally the audience or leave everybody excited or enthusiastic and their body language has to be enormous and they're <laughs> dancing all over the stage and then you watch TED Talks and one exercise that we do is we watch TED Talks with the sound off and some people are animated because sure. that's what's natural to them uh -huh. and some people are very still and they are just talking really intimately with the audience but there's this power to it and so I think like a TED talk is often much more feels more intimate it mm. feels a little bit quieter also in uh, like a regular public speaking setting you want to bring in lots of ideas well first you'll do this and this and this and you'll back it up by this and this and this and in a TED talk you really your whole all of your content is really centered on this one message this one idea um, Chris Anderson talks about the beauty of what an idea is this is a pattern, it's a, like a neuro pattern in our brain that somehow through the words of our mouth we're recreating that neuro pattern in somebody else's brain or in a thousand people's other brains when we're watching, when they're watching us speak. And so how do you get that one message? How do you bring in enough stories and images so that that message is really clearly portrayed? So I think that the... Yeah, so that's one, some of the differences between a TED Talk and like normal public speaking. It's a lot more refined. There's a lot more, it's you know, one message driven instead of a more entertaining 
So there's not going to be a section where you teach us hand gestures, or maybe there will be. I don't know. Maybe that's <laughs> right. Exactly. Not like that. That was terrible. <laughs> but, you know, but you know what I mean. If you're like, talking about windmills, maybe, that's appropriate. Right. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> or drowning. Maybe something <laughs> yeah. like that. That would work for sure. But exactly. but this and so much more we can learn about on on May 21st. 21st. Uh, and yeah. Pat, you guys are saying this is is also a very intimate setting. You're working Correct. with how many people? Yeah, we're limiting it to 30 seats, and there's still seats available. So. It, 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 it is really that intimate. You get that one-on-one -on -one feedback, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, so it's it's uh, quite a unique opportunity. Sure, yeah. sure. And we'll Excellent. really get to know each person a bit before they get in there, because as with the, as they register, we're going to send them some homework, so we know oh, a little bit about them, like so that. we're prepared to yeah. really support them. So you and get what right into it, right into when it when they arrive. And then speaking of that day when they arrive, how how long is the workshop? Where and when? So it's at Salt Mine, mm -hmm. um, and it starts at 9, 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Yep. That flyer says so. <laughs> there we go. You can, you can see it right <laughs> My number. Whenever you show up. Really. Whenever, yeah. yeah exactly. Exactly. <laughs> right. uh, lunch will be there, so you don't need to worry about that. And um, yeah, so Salt Mine, where, where is that in Salt Lake? Is it's it? it's really cool. It's a it's a new co working facility, I brand like that. new. Yeah, I like it's the in name. Sandy. Very yeah, fitting. right. Oh yeah. yes, in Sandy. It's okay, super cool. Super clever. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right. So that's May twenty first. What do we need to register by? Just are you guys pretty open with that? Yeah, just as soon as seats fill, we'll, okay. we'll close it at thirty, and so. Um, wow. Yeah, we're we're expecting to fill it. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So get on that. Make sure you check them first out at True Voice, sure. and they yeah. have. The, the event bright uh, set set up so that you can sign up on there. You guys, thank you so much for You're being welcome. here. Yeah, it's absolutely. so fulfilling to have you here on the show back once again. Uh, we chatted with you guys a year ago, I think, right? Was it about a year? About yeah, you were for like TEDx that. Maybe Salt two Lake years. City. No, it was, it was last year for <laughs> TEDx Salt together. Lake City. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank yeah. you for bringing your ideas back to us, and uh, it's so great to, to hear you guys sharing this with so many in the community as well. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, right. Thank you. Thanks. Margaret Romney and Pat Crowley with True Voice. We'll be right back after this commercial break.